Hey guys, it's Saturday. Um, we're going drag racing today. We're going to uh, Vegreville. It's quarter mile. Uh, it's about 5.30 in the morning here. Uh, car's all loaded up. Uh, we're just taking the half ton here. Not towing the super turbo today. Uh, probably gonna go meet the boys here in a little bit and we're gonna head out. Which one are you playing? All right, guys, we got a 1076, so a little bit faster. Looking good, there. Yeah, yeah. What did you run, Trey? Uh, 1142. Spun a little bit on the 60 foot, but it's getting better. Getting better. And uh, I went 944, 944 at 147. That's pretty <laughs> badass. <laughs> right, Brian? How fast did you go? Doing really good. All like right. 20 in the rain. Alright guys, you probably just saw that um, we actually all went our personal best times at Vegreville. Uh, Trey I think went 11.42, Bob did a 10.7 at 130 mile an hour, so now we at least got the mile an hour in the Ferdorado. Um I went my personal best, uh -huh, it was a 9.44 at 147 mile an hour, so that was awesome. So that means going to the dyno definitely paid off for both of us. Um, uh, Kelly with his Mustang, he was battling a bit of a traction deal there dialing it in, kind of pulling it out, putting it back in, but kind of kept spinning. Um, the track was actually pretty decent for uh, airport, actually. I was only hoping to do a 960, and first pass out, I did a 960, so that was kind of funny. And uh, the car went faster, went about 944, and then it kind of dropped off to some 96s, and it's kind of funny because I ended up making it to the finals in the bracket racing, and I hate bracket racing and I was trying to lose and the car was just running consistent 967s so I ended up changing my dial in time to 96 um, I got to buy twice and the car overheated um, I was like 240 degrees on a couple passes and I actually came back to the pits and you guys probably saw in the video there's water on the ground um, we ended up having to like, cool it down and we had to ask for like a 15 minute break just to try to cool the car down again and then in the finals, I pulled a stupid move and I tried to cut the tree down and I screwed right up and I red lit by like 014, 
which sucks because I would have ran a perfect like 960 pass and I would have won the whole thing. But whatever, it was still fun. Um, everyone had fun. It was awesome, awesome day. Um, it's our last race of the year, but I think Bobby, he wants to do a nine second pass. So you're probably going to see in the next couple weeks, I think we're going to be going to Castrol and we are going to crank it up and Bob's going to do a Hail Mary pass and try to go for a nine second pass in that F-150. Um, it's pretty impressive for what it is already, but he's got that nine second pass in his head. So we're going to go try to make it happen. Some of you guys might have already seen, I posted on my Instagram, there's a new project coming to the channel. Uh, my buddy Steve, he actually was trying to buy back our old high school truck so we could do some turbo stuff to that, but it ended up selling to somebody else. So we couldn't get that truck back because we ended up kind of trading back and forth back in high school. So I got a funny story to tell you guys about that thing. Um, that'll be in the next video. Hey guys, I also wanted to thank Mike Lawrence for coming out. He actually had a lot of the clips that are in this video recorded and he sent them to me. So that was pretty awesome of him. Um, Shane and his boys, they also came out and watched the drag races. Um, they're building a turbo LS swapped S10. So you'll probably see that on the channel in the springtime or possibly even this winter. I might help them build a few parts. All right, guys, that's it for now. You know the deal. Get in the grad. Start building something. No one wants to hear you talking about it. Start being about it. Thanks for watching.